Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We're continuing our little blog theme that we've been doing for the last few videos. We've got a regular Divi blog right here. We've got some thumbnails up at the top. When you hover over, they're going to zoom in and contain in the little blog post there. That's a nice little feature to add to your site. Really easy to do. We've got to do a tiny bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any coding I do, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to copy it and paste it as you need. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. To make this happen today, obviously you need some posts in your posts in the dashboard here, because you'll need something to select. So if you haven't got any blog posts yet, get some blog posts up there. Then what we're going to do is go to our page and let's delete our little section down here and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to start a new section right here, a little blue button for a section. I'm going to use a regular section and inside I'm going to put a single column. Now in our column I want a blog post and here's our blog post. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to do six posts and let's choose the categories I want new posts and old posts I'm going to leave the date and content and post excerpt all at the default there element wise I want to show the featured image author date categories you can show a read more button if you want to I'm going to leave all my defaults on just like this Let's go to my design here and I want this to be grid rather than full page. So we've got full width as the default there. I'm going to change this to grid. And there we have it. We've got our little grid with the six posts that I wanted to display here. Great. So let's just save this and we'll save our page changes. Little purple button down the bottom. Little green button to save. And let's exit the visual builder. So here's our little grid of six blog posts right here. What we want to do, we want to be able to hover over one of these images here and make it zoom in. So I'm using the great Google Chrome here with the inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll over and inspect one of these. That's going to bring up our inspector console here. As long as you've got elements selected in one side, it'll show you HTML. And as long as you've got styles selected in the other side, it'll show CSS. Now yours may be over to the left or the right. You can reposition it with the little three dots right here. Put it where you want. I'm going to write this code to our customizer today. You could actually write it in Divi, theme options, and there's a custom CSS box down at the bottom there. I'm going to use our customizer to get to the customizer. Go to appearance and customize. That will take us to this page right here. Right at the bottom, you'll see additional CSS. This is where we're going to write our code. And I'm going to use this page today so we can actually see what we've got going on. I've got this as our home page at the moment, so I can select it from this page here. So let's go ahead and let's inspect this again. And if we roll over the anchor tag there, if I roll this just up a bit or roll this down a bit so we can see a bit more, you can see when I hover over that, it kind of highlights the image for us there with a little bit of margin down the bottom. And I'm going to make that image grow so I don't want it to spill out of that particular container there. So over here, ETPB post, entry featured image URL, I'm going to say overflow colon hidden then when we make our image grow it won't spill outside of that container so I'm going to now copy this from the dot all the way to the closing curly bracket at the bottom there control C to copy I'm going to paste it up in our additional CSS here I'm going to take away anything I didn't write overflow hidden is the only thing I wrote so I can delete everything else there because we don't need two entries it won't hurt it but there's no point having two of the same entries in there when you write CSS it's always a good idea to give it a title at the top apart from making it 
easier to find it's a courtesy if somebody else comes behind and edits your site and to write a title it's forward slash star star forward slash anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code so it's a great place for notes and titles so I'm gonna say blog image zoom or whatever you want yours to say so it makes sense there okay we've got our little first line in there so hopefully anything that we do inside here will not flow outside so next thing we want to do is to make this thing zoom when we hover over it so again I'm going to go down I'm going to click on the actual image itself just down below here and over here we've got ET PB post a image that's the actual class I'm going to grab we could grab both of those but that's a container as well I'm just going to grab the actual image itself because it's the image I want to make zoom so from the dot there just before the class name just till after the G of the image I'm going to copy that I'm going to go here I'm going to drop down paste it in there I'm going to open close some curly brackets now what I want to do is set a hover state for this because I don't want anything to happen initially but when they hover over it I want this thing to grow so right after the G of image with no gap I'm going to put a colon and the word hover that means we can set a hover state for this and what do I want it to do I want it to grow so we're going to say transform colon scale which means grow or shrink I'm going to put some round brackets at the end of that how much do we want it to grow well I want it to be about twice the size you can do separate values for width and height if you want to by comma separating them but I just want mine to be twice as big so I'm gonna just put a 2 in there you could put 1.5 3 whatever size you want it to grow let's put a semicolon after that one and as you can see it's actually zooming in by twice as much as we hover over there but it's happening absolutely instantly for effect for a good zoom effect I'd like to slow that down to about a second so it looks like it's actually zooming in and that's really easy what I'm gonna do is copy our class name again here without the hover and the colon there I'm gonna drop down I'm gonna paste it down below open and close some more curly brackets in between I'm gonna give it a transition duration which is the time it takes to go from normal to hover state I'm going to say transition dash duration and it's prompted us down underneath you can just click on that if you want to I'm going to give mine about a second you can give it 0.5 of a second 0.25 whatever you want I'm going to give mine a whole second which would be 1s put a semicolon there now when I hover over it it's going to be a lot more gradual that works absolutely fine for me now if you wanted to if you had more than one blog and you only wanted to affect one you could give this blog post a CSS class or an ID if you wanted to and put that before these entries here if you wanted to just affect one but this is the only one we've got so I'm happy with this code here and we're gonna put this below the video so let's publish this and we'll go back to our page let's refresh the page go on down there's our little blobs and there we go our images are growing by a factor of two and they're being contained inside our little post there and like I say that's a nice little feature to have on your site people are mousing around that's going to get their attention so there you go guys there's how to zoom and contain an image on your Divi blog post I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day